Welcome back to the Coding Fanatic YouTube channel. I'm your host, Richard, and here at Coding Fanatic, I focus on the key pillars to growing efficiently as a software developer, and I apply it to Android development when it comes to committing to your projects, working with other people, and learning new skills. These are the things that I focus on, and I apply those in my life and teach you all how to do the same as developers. If that sounds like something that you are interested in as a new software developer or someone who's maybe interested in the field but you're not sure, then hit subscribe. Now, if you've, you, you all, we all know how, how this thing goes, right? You fill out, you, you, you find some, something that you're interested in and you set a time and date where you guys can link up and get to know each other better and then from there, you figure out if you're a good fit for each other. No, I am not talking about dating. I'm talking about applying for new jobs. But it's not that different from dating. And on today's Road to Pro episode number three, I'm going to tell you all about a time a very nosy ass recruiter asked me some interesting questions and how I dealt with it. So a few years ago, I found a position that I was interested in. I, I thought it might be a good change for my career. So, you know, I, I reached out, I filled out the application, and uh, eventually I got to interview with the uh, with one of the, with the hiring manager. You know, things were going pretty well, basic intro questions, and it was going, I, I believe things were going pretty well at first. But then she asked me something very interesting. She asked me, by any chance, are you applying for other positions at the moment? Now, this kind of threw me through a loop because it felt like an invasion of my privacy and I don't really feel comfortable answering it. Now, in my experience prior, uh, prior to this, I had a lot of experience in administrative work and retail. And typically, for those of you who don't know, when you are applying for work in these fields, they only care about one thing. What is your availability to work? Can you work late on Saturdays or Sundays and things like that? So I, I wasn't really prepared for, for this question. To break it down, it's kind of like if you go on a date, let's say you're out on a blind date. You've never met this person, y'all don't know each other or anything. And five minutes into the date, she the, the other person asks you, she asks, Oh, by any chance, are you seeing anyone else? Now, to me, that's an invasion of privacy because number one, we haven't even finished the first interview or first date, so we don't even know if there's going to be a second one yet. I don't know if this company is a good fit. You might be willing to pay me $10,000 a year for 80 hours of work each week. I have no idea yet. That's the whole point of this process. So the fact that only a few minutes into the interview, they're already asking me, hey, interviewing with anybody else by any chance it's weird but let's go back to how I dealt with it so I tell her I tell her well no I, I'm not looking at anything else right now it's, it's just this position this is the one I'm focused on but I asked her you know well is there a reason why 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 you're asking about if I'm applying anywhere else and she says well I just want to get a feel for your schedule so that we can know how we're going to schedule the next interview. What? <laughs> I mean, it's weird, right? Because again, we haven't even finished this one. I don't even know about the position yet. I know very little as aside from what I saw in the job posting and you already talking about a next interview. I mean, it's, it's strange. On top of that, we... You didn't know my, you didn't ask me this question when I first applied to the job and we said this interview. So the logic behind it doesn't follow because if you already set the first interview without knowing if I'm applying for other jobs, then why is it relevant for seconding a second interview again without even, we haven't even finished the first one yet. So what, what in the world? I mean, if you're on a date with someone and as you're telling them about like, oh, what do you do for work? Oh, well, you know, I'm a software developer and I'm looking to expand my skills and get into the field. And oh, okay, that's great. Hey, listen, so are you, are you seeing anyone else right now? It's not so romantic anymore, is it? 
Now, let's run down what we already know. When I apply, when you apply for a position, they know your name, they know your education level, they know your work history, and whatever other information you filled in on the application. Okay. What do you know? Well, you know that they are hiring for this position, potentially. You know the details of the position and the requirement, education requirements. That's about it. Now, they know so much about you and you know so very little about them. And this is a given, right? Because they're the one who's seeking help. I mean, if I need help with something, I know more about the kind of help I need than a random person who I'm employing or asking for assistance until we get down to brass tacks, right? But not only do they know more, now you're reaching and trying to get even more information and see, well, are you applying for anything else? And it's almost as if like they're, you're acting as though this is the most powerful job title you'll ever hold in your life. It's the best position on the planet. It's the only true job that will ever exist. So I need to really know that you're committed. I need to know that you really want to do this because this job is the only one that you'll ever find like this. And you know what I have to say to that? You know what I think about that? Okay. You heard me right. I honestly am okay with it. I really am. This might be a way for them to figure out how committed you are to this one position and make sure that you're really serious about it. But you know, if that's if this is their way of doing it, then I have no problem with it. Let's let's go back to the and let me hear me out. Let's take it back to the dating analogy. So you're at the dinner, but let's put the shoe on the other foot this time. Now you are the one who wants to know if they're seeing someone else. So you're sitting there, you're having a good time, you're chatting it up, and five minutes in, you start to wonder, well, damn, are they interviewing other applicants? Or is this person right for me? Are they, are they gonna, is this gonna go into a relationship? Is this gonna go into other dates? Are we gonna get married? Are we gonna have kids? Or what? Or what's gonna happen next? I, I don't know. But then you start to think back on all the experiences that led you to this point, all the times where the countless hours you spent studying, the days and days that you spent trying to debug code and figure out some issue with your app and you didn't really have anyone close by to put out hands and say, hey, can someone show me how to do this? You had to do your own research. You had to reach out to people over the internet, go on Stack Overflow, do your research, do your homework. All the times where you were in the workplace and you had to stand up for yourself because there was some overbearing person who just liked to throw their weight around as management or whatever. All those little instances where you had, where you, where you grew bit by bit by bit. And then you say, you know what? I'm good. I'm cool. Because I know what my, I know what I'm worth. I know my worth. I know what I'm good at. I know my skill set. I'm confident in who I am and what I do. And to be honest, it really doesn't matter where this goes from now. I'm just going to sit here and enjoy this date right now. You take a bite of the bread. All right, so maybe we, we got away from the, the dating thing. We got away from that and switched back into the whole job title thing. But you get the idea. You see, no matter what happens in this interview, no matter what questions they ask you, what, how, what type of nosy ass stuff they want to know about where... Your, what other uh, companies you've applied for or whatever, it doesn't matter because ultimately you need to keep the focus on you. Your skill set, your growth is in your hands and anything outside of that is irrelevant. So, you know, you tell them, yeah, or you say, no, I'm not looking at any other positions and, you know, I'm really looking forward to learning more about how I can, my skills can complement this company and see how we can move forward together simple as that and it's not it's the truth it's not a lie you're being serious that's the whole point of that's how employment works you have skills they have a need come together and see what happens but again it's not even about that it's about you focusing on your growth and your skills because like i always say there is there will always be so many companies and so many jobs out there but there is only one of you
thank you again for tuning in to the Coding Fanatic YouTube channel. Again, I'm your host, Richard. If you like content like this, then hit subscribe. Join the mailing list too, man. Go ahead and go over to codingfanatic.com. Go to Coding Fanatic, join the mailing list, and you'll know when new updates come out before they come to YouTube or social media or whatever else. You know, so uh, yeah, uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.